Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to show you how to determine which of the two regions will satisfy an inequality. So in this case, we have the same inequality again, where y is greater than or equal to 1 half x plus 2. So what we do first is we find the boundary by changing the inequality symbol to an equal symbol. y is equal to 1 half x plus 2. So when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 2. And when y is equal to 0, x is equal to 4. And so we can see that that line represents y equals 1 half x plus 2, which is the defining line for our inequality. We can then see that a dividing line will divide the xy plane into two regions, region 1 and region 2. And it doesn't matter which one you label 1 and which one you label 2. It doesn't really matter. And then you pick a point in one of the two regions. And I always like to pick an easy point. And of course, the easiest point is the point 0, 0, the point on the origin, which clearly lies in region 2 here. And that point is then a representative point for all the points in that region. If that point satisfies inequality, then all the points in the region satisfy the inequality. Of course, the points on the line will satisfy the inequality if we also have the equal sign like we do in this case. And so we draw a solid line. We already know that all the points on the line satisfy the inequality. We just don't know about the points on either side of the line. So it doesn't matter which point you pick in which region but I always like to pick the one in the origin if it's available because that makes things easier. So now we're going to do what we call a test case. We're going to plug in the value, the x and y coordinates of our test point, and plug it into the inequality for x and y, and then see if that makes that a true statement. So we're going to replace x by 0 and y by 0, so we're going to verify if that is a true statement. Is 0 greater than or equal to 1 half times 0 plus 2, question mark. Is that a true statement? Is that true or false? True or false, question mark. So here when we simplify that, we get 0 greater than or equal to 2, question mark. Is that true? And obviously 0 is not greater or not equal to 2, so therefore we know this is false. So what we did was we picked a test point in one of the two regions, again, didn't matter which one, we picked this point right here, we tested this point to see if this point satisfied the inequality, and the answer is no, it did not. That means this point, as well as all of the points in this region, do not satisfy the inequality. Therefore, all the points on the other side of the dividing line do satisfy the inequality. So this is not a solution, not a solution, and the other side, therefore, is the solution. And so therefore, this region satisfies inequality, so this is the proper region that satisfies this particular inequality, including all the points on the line, and this region does not satisfy the inequality. And that is how we decide by picking a test point in one of the two regions that are defined by that dividing line to see which side belongs to the solution, which side satisfies inequality, and which side doesn't. And that is how it's done. You don't have to pick one in the region, just to make sure. Oh, I guess we could do that. All right, let's pick another point. Let's pick the point 3, 0, right here. Uh, I should say 0, 3. x is 0, y is 3. So now we pick a point in the other region. And of course, we already know that that region satisfies the solution or satisfies the inequality. But let's do another test case. So let's do a second test case. And so we're going to plug in the values 0 for x and 3 for y into our inequality right here. So we have y is greater than or equal to 1 half x plus 2. So y becomes 3. So we plug in 3 for y is greater than or equal to 1 half times x, which is 0, plus 2, question mark, because we don't know if it is. And notice that we have 3 greater than or equal to 2, question mark, and the answer, of course, is yes. That is indeed greater than. And so here we picked a point in the other region, region number 1. It satisfied the inequality. That means all the points in this region satisfy the inequality. So we could have picked a point in one region or the other region. We only need to do it once. And then whether or not we find the points that satisfy or the points that don't satisfy the inequality simply depends upon the outcome of that one picked point. As you can see that it works either way, and that is how it's done.
Thank you. Or you can get a little OCD about it and do both. <laughs> I think one is sufficient.